All right, I'm going to splice these together with 8 by 50 dominoes, two of them, uh, because it's an end grain joint. So I, I figured that I want to put these about 7 eighths of an inch on center from the outside edges. Now in order to be as accurate as possible, I wanted to kind of jig this up so that I make sure that I can use the tight setting on both of these. So what I've done is I've got my I've got my uh, new base, offset base set up here. And because this is thicker material, I put a couple of plastic shims in here to give me uh, about a sixteenth of an inch more uh, raise of the fence. Uh, there, thereby dropping the bit uh, a little bit. So that's all set to go. Then the other thing I wanted to do was, as I was looking at this, um, I wanted to use these um, these registra registration uh, pins that come with the uh, domino. And the, old, the way to do that, when I, when I put it on my piece, I was uh, way, way too far to the inside. So I made a shim, put an X on the, on the end and the inside edge, and that's how I'll register this, like so. I'll clamp my piece here. Clamp the shim. Making sure that it's back behind this face. Like that. Then when I bring this in, that pin will register against, will register up almost right on my line. Then when I get ready to do the other side, I'll simply reverse it, making sure the X is out and to the, to the edge. So let's give this a go and see how she works. Those are nicely centered on that piece. When I say centered, I mean on the on the thickness. Oh, I didn't have it deep enough. Oh. Well, it's going to go together nice. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, change the depth to cut. And I'll come back. All right, let's try this one more time. There you go. Well, oh, that's nice. Okay, so that that'll be one board. I've got a. I've got to. Uh, you know, make sure that it's good and straight. But I'll still, what I'll, I'll do is um, run the one edge through the joiner one more time. 
then we'll we'll domino it this way as well. That worked out pretty slick. I'll show you the this first glue up. I've got the X's facing out, and then there's an X on this side, and an X. Let's see. Well, it's an X on this and this, so it gets rotated this way, clockwise, and dropped on. Alright, that's staying flat this way. 